Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Fish Door County TV. Well this week we've got a great show lined up for you guys as we're heading out to do some fall perch fishing out on the bay. Now this is one of my favorite times of the year to target these fish, especially when they get out on those deep mud and sand flats out on the bay. Stay tuned, we're going to show you guys everything you need to know and how to catch these fun and great tasting fish. We'll be back in about one minute. Well, like we said today, guys, we're perch fishing. There, that's a nice little perch. Nothing wrong with that guy right there. Um, nice eater size. This is the kind we're looking for. We'll get a lot bigger, hopefully. But this is a nice way to start the day. And like we said, you know, perch fishing out here on the bay, just a really popular thing. For years, it's been popular. Not a big fish, but a nice little start. For years, it's been popular out here. And the perch are really recovering. We did the show this year, as a lot of you guys probably saw with the DNR and the perch trawling. Young of the year classes have actually been pretty good as of late and you're going to start to see a lot of fish in this size range and of course a lot bigger too. So we're going to get this guy in the box, we're going to take a few home to eat tonight and we're going to show you everything you need to know here guys today about how to catch these fish and put some of these in for a nice fish dinner some night. There's one right there. Another one. There you go. No, oh, another average size fish, seven, seven to eight inch here. Again, we're going to talk a little bit more techniques here in just a minute. Uh, you know, there's not a lot to perch fishing. I think we all know, but there are a few things you can do. There are a few things you can do to kind of up your chances of catching a few more fish, especially if the bite's a little slow. Uh, this is about the low end that you'd want to keep for eating size. You know, you don't get a whole lot off of these, but. Uh, we're gonna let some of these smaller ones go today but you know we're gonna show you a few things you can do just a few different little tricks and tips today that you can use uh, from how the hook size you use the hook color and a few other things that uh, put a few more perch in the boat for you but we're gonna get this guy back in and catch a few more when it comes to finding these perch guys a lot of times it's really not that difficult we're looking for deep mud and sand flats in that 18 to 30 feet of water and basically Anywhere on the bay that you have these conditions, there's potential to find some nice schools of perch out there. To be honest, a lot of times where you'll find those active schools of big perch, you're going to have other boats around them as well. So if you do go into those areas where the other boats are out there ahead of you already, remember to use some discretion, set up a good distance away, and that way everybody can have a great day on the water. Oh, we got one on going right here. Oh, there he is. Yep, another nice little one. Not a jumbo, but a nice fish. You know, another one in that eight inch size or so. And you know, this is like we said, this is the lower end of what you really want to keep. But nothing wrong with these guys right here. I mean, you can get some meat off of these if you're so inclined to keep a few in that size range. Uh, you know, anything smaller than this, of course, you're probably gonna want to throw back. And, and these today, like we're throwing these back today as well. Thought I had another bite back here. We're throwing these back as well today. They're just a little on the small side, but 
fun to catch. Lots of these out here right now in fall. This time of the year in mid, mid, you know, early to mid fall is really the time you want to get out here and get after these perch. Fun fishing, great for kids. If you got kids that like to fish, this is what you want to do. Get them out here, catch a lot of these fish, enjoy some of the seagulls over the shoulder squawking at you all day, but hey, that's all part of the fun. So let this guy go and go get some more. You know guys, we have a really simple setup here today for these perch, and that's the one thing I enjoy about perch fishing so much. Throughout the course of the season, we spend a lot of time out here in the big water chasing walleyes and pike and salmon, and, and all of those species require, at a times, a lot of different equipment to put them in the boat successfully. You know, planer boards, downriggers, lead core lines, and they all produce well for us, but there's kind of a process that goes with those fishing, that type of fishing, and a lot of work involved sometimes. Perch fishing sometimes is just a nice getaway from the other types of fishing that we do during the year, and it's simple and fun. As you can see by what we're doing here today, we're just running some medium action, medium to light action spinning rods. We're setting them with a simple split shot rig, a foot or two up off the bottom just to keep the gobies away from us, and we're just watching the rod tips. As you get a bite, you're going to see the tip just bounce a little bit, pick the rod up, and lift it up, and you got them. And that's what makes perch fishing fun. Sometimes it's just nice to get away from all the techniques and all the hassle of big water trolling. And while we enjoy it as much as the next guy, a nice day perch fishing, relaxing with some friends, and catching a few fish for a fish dinner is just a great way to spend a day up here in Door County. Take a few of the tips that we showed you today, and I guarantee you, you're gonna have a lot of fun when you go out on your next perch fishing trip. Just that real subtle tap. Not a bad one. There we go. Nothing wrong with that one either. Just another, you know, eight inch perch, eight inch range. Nothing wrong with these fish at all, guys. And you know, a lot of this year class out here right now, a lot of these fish in that seven and a half to eight and a half inch size. Beautiful fish, nothing wrong with these guys. As you can see, you know, subtle bites. You gotta pay attention. You gotta have the rod set up right. You gotta have your equipment right to catch these things in good numbers, but lots of these out here to be had. Get this guy back in and uh, catch a few more today. Ooh, there we got one going right here. There we go. Yeah, not a big one, but a nice one. There we go. Another nice perch. I mean, all kind of in that same size range, that seven and a half to eight and a half inch size. Oh, we just missed one over here too. And you know, the thing about these perch guys is they're in abundance down here right now, especially this time of the year. And we're not fishing anywhere particular. I mean, we're fishing right in the middle of a lot of other boats. Uh, it's starting to thin out now as it gets a little later on in the, in the afternoon here, but a lot of people out here enjoying this fishery and it's just a cool way to spend an afternoon or a morning. Anytime you can get out is a great time to fish for perch. Uh, again, we're gonna let these go today, but you know, these are on that borderline of eating or keeping or throwing back. But uh, use good judgment when you're out here. To, these fish are here to enjoy and fun to get out and catch them for a fish fry, but we want to make sure, oop, we got another one on here, guys. All right, if I get this guy down here for a second, fill this one in. Ah, oh, this is just a little guy here. Small one here, but it just shows you, when you get into these little schools of these fish here, you can really put them in the boat pretty good. And, you know, like I said, for kids, get this guy back. But for kids, you just can't have much more fun than getting out, enjoying some of this perch fishing and taking advantage of what really is a fishery that's on the rebound. And you know, there's good things to come for the next few years for the perch fishing here in the Door County area. You know guys, most of us already know, we don't need a lot of fancy equipment, or we don't need real technical setups to help put some of these perch in the boat each fall. But I wanna show you a couple different tricks you can use that might help you catch a few more on those days when the bite's a little bit tougher. One of the things we use today and I like to experiment with, especially this time of the year, is different hook colors. Today we used this chartreuse hook and it was really effective for us, especially on a couple of the bigger fish we ended up catching. Now there's all kinds of different color hooks and sometimes your black nickels and your bronze, your standard colors work real well, but other days chartreuses, reds, oranges, those kind of color hooks will get you a few more bites and it's just something to try on a day in and day out basis. It might help put a few more fish in the boat for you. Another thing I like to do, at least on one of my rods every time, is to add a couple of beads. I like gold beads, but color is not as important as the fact that these beads, when you set them together like this, have a tendency to make some noise, they click a little bit, they 
bang together when you're jigging the rod and it seems to bring more fish into your spread. They also flash a little bit more down there so they give you a little bit of shine that you might not have with just a traditional hook and split shot setup. And all we do with these is just take a couple of beads like you would use on a crawler harness rig, put a couple of bobber stops, one to the top and one to the bottom of it, and then you could even get away with using like rubber pieces off of a spinnerbait skirt if you don't have bobber stops set up and just tie them on. All they do is hold the beads together and into place so they don't slide too far up and down the line. These beads, when they're set like this, as you shake the rod like we talked about, they'll click together, they'll make a little noise, add a little flash, and sometimes that will really help put a few extra fish in, especially like we said earlier, when the bite may be a little off. Try a couple of these tricks, and they're gonna help you catch some more fish, and sometimes bigger fish this fall. We got one, oh, there's one. We got one on over on this rod. Show you why we like to throw a few rods out. Ah, that's a nice one here. Maybe an eight incher again or so. A lot of this the size we're running into here today. You know guys, one other aspect of perch fishing that sometimes gets overlooked is anchoring. And to really catch fish consistently, you have to know how to anchor properly. And there's a couple things you can do that will help keep you above those big schools of perch, especially when you get on a good bite. One thing to always remember is to add a piece of chain between your main anchor line and the anchor itself. Anywhere from a five to eight foot piece of chain is suffice and that will really help keep your anchor laying flat that extra weight of the chain will keep it flatter than it would be any time the boat is lifting or you're getting some swells out there that piece of anchor chain not only helps keep the anchor down and tight but it prevents the main anchor line from chafing and potentially breaking when that anchor is getting dragged a little bit at times through rock and other areas where you might have an issue with it one other thing to keep in mind is your ratio of how much line you're letting out, how much anchor line you're letting out as a compared to how deep of water you're fishing. So let's say for example you're fishing 20 feet of water like we were today, that 18 to 20 foot of water. We like to always have a ratio on our anchor of about 5 to 1 to 7 to 1 range, meaning if we're in that 20 feet we want to make sure we let out at least 100 feet of anchor rope to help compensate for any swells or any choppy water that would might lift that anchor out every time the bow is lifting. So the more line you're letting out, the more of a horizontal pull you're getting towards the anchor and less of a vertical one and that's going to make a big difference in keeping yourself anchored up, especially on those days when it gets choppy and windy out in the bay. Take a few of these tips and it'll definitely help keep you anchored up when you're on that good school of perch. Oop, there's one right there. Oh, it's the better one right here, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful perch right there. Look at the size of that thing. Ah, this is a nice fish right here. Oh, barely had him hooked, too. This is awesome. That's just a beautiful perch. I mean, you can't have much more fun. I mean, this, we're out here in the afternoons where you don't have to get up here at 5 in the morning come out and catch some of these big perch. I mean, mornings usually are a little bit better. But as we're showing you today, afternoons, it's about 5 o'clock, catching big perch like this. This is just a great way to spend a fall day. Wait for some nice weather. You can get out here in any kind of boat you got. You don't need fancy equipment. Some hooks like we showed you. Get those setups like we talked about earlier. And you guys can come and put some of these big fish in the boat as well. Thanks again for watching, guys. And be sure to tune in again next week for another episode of Fishdoor County TV.